Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. So somebody sent me a message about how do you write a test case. I asked him why is this particular question. So he said he has one and a half years of testing experience and he gave one interview where the question was asked to him. So the question is how do you write a test case, right? So first you need to understand what is a test case. A test case is a step-by-step -step description of a particular user story or a particular functional requirement. It depends on the software development model in which you are working. If you are following traditional waterfall approaches like waterfall or V, you will call it as a functional requirement which you follow and write a step-by-step -step description, right? But if you are working in agile ways of working, then you will call it as a user story. Is the same thing, it's a requirement, right? Which we get it from customer. So a test case is a step-by-step -step description of a customer requirement where we know the expected result beforehand, but when you execute it step-by-step, -step, you get to know the actual result. And then you compare expected result with the actual result uh, to make the test case pass or fail. So there are two ways to write a test case. You can write it in an Excel file or you can write directly in Jira tool. If you are interested to know how to write in Jira tool, you can refer my video on the channel. I have explained Jira test management process, everything starting from how do you um, launch uh, Jira, how do you, you know, make an account and how do you create a board user story and then start writing the test case. You can refer that video. Second, if you are following Excel, then you can create a template, you can create a format uh, for the test case where you will write first column as test case ID, test case description, test case uh, uh, steps number 1, 2, 3, 4 and then uh, full description like first you need to log in, then you go here and you know the main main points should be captured, then the expected result and actual result you will get when you execute it and one column will be status. And you can also uh, write created by or executed by or assigned to or date, right? These all columns you can write in the Excel file and then, uh, you know, showcase it to your uh, uh, team lead or your manager. So like this, you can express in the interview if they ask you, how do you write a test case? For more such videos, please stay connected and please let me know if you like this video. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.